So is Jaime Falcon and Isaiah Jaime's Ness? Falcon, Isaiah's Ness. Losers finals, baby. We don't get to see Isaiah's Ness too often. No, we really don't. I feel like he surprises us with with all his characters in that in the way that he's like not super standard, but just can play everyone at such a high level. Oh, and Jaime, kind of a smart option there, just to force Ness low. Ooh, and Isaiah trying to land that up air, which has a lot of protection. Oh, jabs. Great jab to set that up. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's another thing I see. Uh, I see, like, Raichu do it. And I don't notice Frey doing it. The uh, the PK fire to cover the ledge. Yeah. But so then, of course, you have to go move. for that low recovery, you know, and we kind of saw Jaime did a really great job of recovering after that and just edge hogging. Oh, that's a good yo yo. Yeah, that float chart he has a low percent. Oh, Jaime, just a long up. way. Get up attack from Jaime. Great job knowing that grab range as well. It was actually really lucky that Jaime was laying on his, uh, laying the way he was and got that get up attack as opposed to the other one. I don't think the other one would have helped him there. Oh, and Isaiah tries to go low, maybe hoping Jaime will hop up and cover a high option. Oh, the man, double. that was a dangerous situation for both of them. I mean, takes that stock. That could be big. Yeah, all of a sudden, Especially when he lands that near. Oh, and Isaiah wow. couldn't do anything. Man, what a comeback. Man, didn't play Jaime. off the gas again once he started taking advantage of Ness. Free for all. I thought Isaiah might have had that trade when they were both off the stage. Because we all know how big that uh, hitbox is on Ness's down air. Uh oh. Uh, was this what you got four stocked in last time they played this? I think he played this twice. I think this was the first game and the last. Game. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. He did well. I think this was the one where Jaime ended with the Falcon. The Falcon punch. punch yeah. 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 But we know Isaiah can make adjustments. And... Yeah. No, this would be interesting to see. What a lead he had as Ness. Yeah, it was so close. Maybe putting on a little too much pressure there. Oh, yeah, textbook. I made it drop below those uh, fireballs. Grab the ledge and then ledge hop at the back air. Luigi's fall speed so slow that up smash couldn't get him. <laughs> no pivot, just down tilts. Sorry, uh, JD. Oh, yeah. Scary being Luigi right there. Little jump. That could have really turned around for Isaiah there. Yeah, absolutely. He, I mean, this is in a super advantageous position. Yeah, Jaime definitely has to be careful, like, applying all this pressure to Isaiah. There we go. Right Same. there. Fireball's oh, yeah. coming back. Turned him around. Oh, but these invincibility periods for Jaime are scary for Isaiah. He seems like he keeps kind of jumping and... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you talked about that earlier, and Jaime did it there. Yeah, since Luigi, the fireballs only go like straight horizontal like that, the Falcon Kick will go through them and, and hit him. And, uh... It seems like Jaime's like really baiting and getting Isaiah to like overcommit in neutral. Like Isaiah's really well, yeah, Jaime going is after patience. That's what he does. Let's 
trouble. And there's that. Yeah, you're not getting back from that yeah, one. No jump and. Oh, he was winding up the F smash. Oh. You know, I think he had options there too. Maybe a low angled F smash, but he went for that grab. Ooh. <laughs> what? Yeah. He tried that down B. You gotta wonder how many frames Isaiah was on. Uh, I can tell you. Isaiah's on one frame, Hermes on two. Okay, yeah, so. It seemed like a reactionary. I guess it wasn't reactionary, it was he was trying to predict Jaime running in with that down B. So Heim, uh, Isaiah, rather, on tournament stock here. Sticking with the Weege. Can you move that down to like, uh, Yeah. Oh, you don't want to just look at that the whole time? <laughs> I like that he's sticking it out, and I want to see him play a little more patiently in neutral. And we never really saw him apply, like, punish pressure. It was, like, really a lot of neutral. Yeah, I mean, Isaiah tried Link um, in the first set they played. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't try to go back to Link. Yeah, a pretty convincing win in the first set. He only played that one game with him? Yep. Oh, no. That oh, was, yeah. That was too much. A little too deep. Good bait on that down tilt. Oh, the low angle, usually pretty clutch right there. He knew the down tilt was coming, but just jumped too high. Yeah, he was ready to punish it. Jaime. Isaiah with a good job, not looking for too much there after he landed that. That up air goes right into that. Ooh, B. Ooh. Oh, Jaime just eats that hit and secures the grab. Oh, again, oh. just a little too low. He, yeah, he wants that switch up with that uh, extended up B. And that's nice. So hard for right there. Luigi to run in and get a grab like that, but Isaiah finally found an opening. Hold it up. Yeah. Oh, and that those jumps, just putting yourself above Falcon like that is. Somehow the no tech threw Jaime off just enough. Why? I wonder why he didn't just down air there. Edge hop, right? No time for the edge hop. Oh. That was so smart. Instead of trying to make sure he was facing the right way for a grab, just threw up in there. It's a great follow-up for that up air right there. He's finally got a stock lead as Luigi, but he's above Falcon. Oh. Wow, no. a trade. Yeah, not a trade he needed. Oh, Jaime doing a great job, even though he uses his double jump to avoid. There it is. Just yeah. clipped him with the up B. Isaiah knew exactly what he had to do there. And like, such control there to get him with the coin and not the strong hit, because that would have saved him. Right. Just when he seems like he's got a hold on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's great because the, the face he's making in the picture was so appropriate for that character switch. Yeah, it's so appropriate <laughs> when we're all watching. We're like, why? He's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> didn't recognize. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job by Jaime to re-secure the ledge. 
this game for? Yeah. I'm so patient, just waiting to see what Isaiah does. Oh, and Jaime tried to call him out on that. That's a danger of running into on those techs for a uh, for a down air. Said if you if it gets shielded, you are above Falcon after that. Isaiah, he got a little greedy going for that charge shot there. He could have just grabbed ledge, but going for the shot I mean he had to up B. That Jaime punished him for it. Ooh, Isaiah looking silky smooth right here though. Rough trades. Oh, oh man, that was that was a lot of back airs. Good TI from Jaime. Yeah, because if he had gone off stage, that could have been it. Wait. Ooh. How did you get that grab, Jaime? Oh, and Jaime with a very nice F smash. Oh, oh wow, Antoine. He's like, why doesn't Jaime or why doesn't Isaiah just run up and grab? And he just walked up and grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Great recovery from Jaime after that pressure. Oh, Jaime knows these tricks. Oh, wasn't able to di out. out. So he got the last hit, but he gets the up air. Oh! What a plat drop Nair! Yeah, yeah everything covered by that, but high percentage here. I did try to run away. Oh, but Jaime yeah. gets the back air, and I don't that think he has it. anything. Yeah. That is yeah. it. I think I think Isaiah wanted to turn around with that shot to have the back air facing Jaime. Look at all these guys in their uh, their red given Jaime jerseys. That was a great showing from Isaiah, oh. though. The, the Samus yeah. was looking really good in mo for a lot of those moments. But Jaime just so solid.